Praise is what I do, saints. It's Sister with a Testimony. Our topic for today is spiritual warfare, our weapons arsenal. Praise is what I do, saints. Remember, you are fighting the good fight of faith. Remember who you are as you fight the good fight of faith. Spiritual warfare is real, and you have a weapons arsenal. First and foremost, you have been blessed with every spiritual blessing. We've already discovered who the enemy is, where the fight is, and today, our weapons arsenal. First and foremost, you have Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the greatest weapon of all, for he already defeated the enemy, and he has the keys to hell and death. 1 John 4, 4. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Ruach HaKadosh, Spirit of Holiness, dwelling in you. The name of Jesus. The name Jesus alone has all power and all authority because every name that has ever been named is beneath that name. That is the highest, loftiest, most amazing name. There's power just in the name of Jesus. For the Lord God gave him the name that is above all names. And one day, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So you have Jesus and you have Jesus' name. One of your greatest weapons, the Word of God. The spoken Word of God in Ephesians 6, 17. That is a great weapon when you memorize the Word, when you quote the Word, when you pray the Word. Jesus. Jesus' name. The Word of God, who is Jesus, God in the flesh. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. The word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and joint and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. One of the most miraculous weapons in our arsenal, the blood of Jesus, the blood of the lamb the lamb slain before the foundations of this world. His blood is alive, it's perfect, it covers, hides, protects, reconciles, restores. The blood of Jesus speaks greater things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus is against you, Hasatan. The blood of Jesus speaks greater things than the blood of Abel. Jesus, Jesus' name, the word of God who is Jesus in the flesh, God himself, and the blood of Jesus. If we stop right there, saints, we have it all. The anointing, Isaiah 10, 27. Saints, the anointing destroys yokes. He anoints whom he will, and he puts his seal of approval on whom he will. We are his children, and we are blessed with every spiritual blessing. The anointing is one of your weapons of warfare. The prophetic anointing. Revelation 19.10 The testimony of Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is the spirit of prophecy. When you have the anointing of God Almighty upon you, you have the prophetic anointing when you need it. He will give it to you. He will withhold nothing good from you. Your faith, saints, is another one of your greatest weapons. According to Ephesians chapter 6, our weapons seriously have to be put on daily. Your shield of faith protects you from all the fiery darts of the enemy. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, we're told that our faith overcomes the world for whatsoever is born of Yahuwah overcomes the world and this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith Hebrews 11 1 
Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11:6. without faith it is impossible to please Yahuwah. Saints, one of our greatest, all of them are absolutely phenomenal, but one of our greatest weapons for personal safety, deliverance, protection is prayer. Ephesians 6, 18, praying always with all prayers and supplications in the spirit, watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplications for all saints. There's spirit prayer saints, tongues of men, tongues of angels. Use your prayer as a weapon. It's your greatest defense, but it is an amazing offense. God will not move until you pray. And Hasatan, that old devil, will not stop until you pray. Pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 4.17 Saints, Fasting is an amazing weapon of mass destruction in your arsenal of weapons. In Isaiah chapter 58 verses 6 through 9, this is how bondage is truly broken. Jesus said in Mark 9, 29, this kind only comes out by prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting go hand in hand. You don't have to fast for 40 days. You can do a one day fast just as the fast of the day of atonement if you do your studies you'll find out that that prayer and that fasting are the same thing a one day fast completely and totally given over to the Lord and prayer and supplication praise is our most joyous weapon in our arsenal as we praise the Lord let everything that has breath praise the Lord in everything give praise for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 Psalm 149 verses 5 through 9 sing it speak it shout it let the high praises of Yahuwah be in you Saints, our worship is different than our praise. Worship in spirit and in truth. Because God is expecting those that will worship him in spirit and in truth. God is spirit and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. According to John chapter 4 verse 24. In our worship we can dance. We can shout. We can praise. We can clap. We can stomp. We can march, saints. We can shout with music. Saints, seriously, there's all kinds of worship with tambourines, with banners, with flags. Express yourself through worship. But worship in spirit and in truth, not to be seen, not to be heard, not to be noticed, not to be acknowledged, not to be recognized. You don't do a praise dance to entertain the congregation. Worship in spirit and in truth. There's a difference between entertaining people and worshiping. One that very few people probably even think of as a weapon of mass destruction is wisdom, saints. Ask the Lord to give you wisdom because a wise man knows that armies are defeated by much less mighty men usually than the armies that are coming at them. If one can chase a thousand, two can put ten thousand to flight through wisdom and the power of Ruach HaKodesh, the spirit of holiness. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verses 13 through 18. When you read that saint and you study it, you'll understand that wisdom is better than strength. Again, the man knows that through wisdom he can defeat an army, but God has to be on our side, saints. A lot of people look at this next weapon in our arsenal as a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing, saints. 
money is a weapon if it's used properly. Money, according to Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12, is a defense against your enemy. It is used to further the gospel in this world. It is used to glorify God, not for prosperity preachers to sell their snake oil and their handkerchiefs and all manner of things so that you can get what you need from God. You don't get what you need from God. You already have what you need from the Lord. You just have to call upon the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and you've already been given a yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Use your money to glorify God. The Bible is very clear. We have to make a decision between the Lord himself and mammon. You can't serve two masters. You'll love one and hate the other. So use your money as a tool, as a weapon against the enemy. And may God continue to bless you, keep you, honor you, forgive you, have mercy upon, mercy upon you, and continue to give you grace. And I pray that his face, his countenance, will continue to shine upon you. Use Jesus the person, his name, the spoken word of God, who is Jesus, the word made flesh, his blood, the prophetic anointing, along with the anointing that you've already been anointed with. Use your faith, saints. Pray without ceasing. Fast and pray when needed. Praise continuously and worship in spirit and in truth. Call upon the Lord for wisdom, for he will give you that wisdom. And last but not least, use money as a weapon. Your battlefield is your mind. We've already discovered that. Your enemy is not flesh and blood. Your enemy is is the devil, the adversary, and all of the hosts of heaven that fell with him. One third of the angels rebelled with him. Saints, you have amazing weapons of mass destruction in your arsenal to fight the good fight of faith. Be blessed until the next time at Sister with a Testimony. Praise is what I do.